Chris. Thanks, Cathy. Now, it's one of the most striking images an Olympic Games has ever produced. Say it loud. At the Mexico Games of 68, two African-American athletes stood on the winner's podium, heads bowed, gloved hands raised in a black power salute. Their protest was against segregation and racism in America, the symbolism made more potent by the single black glove each wore. The unintended consequence of bronze medalist John Carlos forgetting to bring his pair along. The man receiving gold was Tommy Smith, a formidable runner whose world record for the 200 meter sprint stood for 11 years. But like the two other athletes, his sports career was blighted by his actions. His achievements on and off the track were only recognized much later. At the time, both Americans were expelled from the Olympics and all were ostracized by many of their countrymen on their returns home. Tommy Smith never raced again. He's here with me now, though. Thank you very much for nice to be here, joining Christian. us. What was going through your mind when you did that? Why did you do it? Because a lot of people assume it's a militant gesture. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it was a militant. Uh, uh, military isn't either, but uh, something has to be done. It was done for a reason, a, a, a social justice, uh, uh, brought by by ignorance uh, of, of man, uh, of those who do not believe in human rights, uh, or who wouldn't give the necessity of thought in the dealing with that particular human rights. And I think it's very important. The, 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 the victory stand was, you might say, a pinnacle of what I had to do, or what people had to see before they could believe that we really understood it. Did you have any idea what impact it would have? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It, it, I didn't do it for a necessity of, 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 of religious uh, combinations only a, a, a realization that human rights efforts were needed all around the world to cement the power of man and not to be malignant about anything. Because the argument given at the time by your critics, despite the 36 games, yeah, yeah. Was, was politics and the Olympics don't mix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, po politics mixes in everything. You flush your bathroom, you got to pay the cost. You know, it, it mixes in everything. So those who say that are missing the point about politics. It's not that politics is bad. It's how you handle any any instantaneous action about the system, which deal with politics. Politics is good. Politics is there. So it's do you think today's athletes should take more of a stand on, on the oh, issues that, that they that's care about? That's up to the athlete, like it was uh, us in 1968. Some athletes decided not to because they didn't think there was a need to. These athletes today, basically, they guess eyes, nose, mouth, ears, the same as we did, but the brain is a little bit different. So they deal with everything a little bit different. Back then, it was the power of pride. Now, mostly, it's the power of the dollar. So they have to deal with what they got to deal with. Do you think America ever forgave you? No, I don't think so. Because they recognized you in the end, didn't they? But well, well, <laughs> the U.S. Olympic Committee has not uh, uh, awarded a, a, a stand for me or John Carlos in the U.S. OC uh, Track and Field Hall of Fame. And I held more world records or, than any man or woman in track and field history, and I'm not there. So there's a reason why that uh, is happening. But that's the U.S. OC. I do think there's good minds in America that deals with the reality of, of that necessity. Christian. Let me just bring you back to what's going on this week. Usain Bolt is going to be running your event, the 200 meters. Yeah. You broke 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. What do you yeah. think he's going to do? Well, Hussein, I broke 20. You got to break 19. You got to go <laughs> out there and do it, son. I'm going to see it. You got, you got to do it. I'm going to call up Yuhan on you. <laughs> Tommy Smith, thank you very much. It's a great my pleasure. pleasure. My pleasure.